It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. No Still Mano. here. Jasmine's on the toilet, so she's not here right now. <laughs> doing the... It is what it what, is. What dance is that? Guys. Uh, the pooping in your pants dance. <laughs> we actually, I'm going to post a wow, video of the new crazy. dance that's going viral. The pooping you, you in your pants. You ain't do it, though. I made it up. No, nah, you should still do it. Okay, I originated the dance. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into this Yee-T. Wingstop has Lotto on board. They're doing a Lotto meal. It's a lemon herb remix. She posted it on her Instagram page. Listen to this. There's so many rats, so I can't even see the flow. Okay. So Wingstop, it's a limited time meal, and so you can get it uh, July 29th. You get five free wings by using the code free wings at checkout. By the way, I just want to say Wingstop did also sponsor at one point um, Angela Yee Day. So and we, they... we, we should check out those wings. I thought you were... No, I mean, we got time. Okay. All right. Well, good. I got you. I, we should, we should I feel like them. they'll we have them out. no problem with that. All right. Now, some people up here have a problem, and one person that has a problem up here is our producer, Dan. What do you He's got very upset. With? Travis Scott, his Pyramids concert is in jeopardy, according to reports, over safety concerns. Okay? So, Egypt Today reports that there's a few different reasons that they would deny permits for the Travis Scott show. The syndicate that issues licenses for concerts says the safety and protection of the audience, but they also cited peculiar rituals performed by the star during his performance that contradicts our authentic societal values and traditions. And they said the cancellation could have something to do with online rumors about Travis Scott's affiliation with Freemasonry. Mm. I mean... Okay. Yeah, and I don't know what to say about that because this is Egypt. Yeah, and this. Yeah, and know. so those are, are a different type of of rules, right? That they abide by there. So I know a, a lot of people will be disappointed though because I feel like that uh, definitely sold out. It was like a giveaway, right, for fans to go and actually experience this, and now it may not be happening. All right, and um, let's talk about this Spotify list. 50 most streamed rap songs on Spotify. Right. And do you know what the most streamed female rap song is at number 35? Wop. Wow, wop, there's no wop. women until number 35. Wop. That is correct. Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. That is the most streamed uh, female rap song. And that comes in at number 35. You know what the number one most streamed rap song What's on that? Spotify is? Post Malone and 21 Savage, Rockstar. And number two is really? Drake, God's Plan. Really? Yes, number um, three is XXXTentacion, Sad, and then four is Travis Scott, Goosebumps, and five is XXX again with uh, Jocelyn Flores. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Uh, that's crazy. I would have never thought that. Mm-hmm. So Post Malone and 21 Savage are right above Drake. Uh, but other people notably on the list, um, J. Cole is number 11, No Role Models. Eminem and Nate Dogg are number 14 with Till I Collapse, and Eminem is there Classic. again at number 16. <laughs> Um, and number 22, by the way. All right. Now, uh, Will I Am has announced a new song with Britney Spears. It's her second post conservatorship release. And so he captioned a teaser clip on Twitter and put, uh oh, at Britney Spears. And the new track will be out at some point today. This is their fourth time working together. I want to hear it. Yeah. So we've been checking, right? It's not out yet, um, but it's supposedly going to be out today. Probably so. be out tonight. Mm-hmm. All right, now, little baby, he's had some tour dates canceled. Um, a lot of fans were disappointed at that, and also the kid Leroy has pulled out of the tour as well. Um, so I'm not sure what's exactly going on. I saw some people saying that um, it might be some issues with ticket sales and things like that going on. I'm not sure, but little baby is uh, still on tour, featuring Glorilla, Rilo Rodriguez, and in other news, Tiana Taylor has signed up. To get on that tour. She's going to be the creative director. Okay. And I think that's... What is she performing to? Well, no, she's creative director, so that means choreography for other right. people. okay. And I think that's dope, because I do feel like artists need to make sure that they have choreography, sometimes have people also backing you up and things like that. It's not an easy job to be right. in these put tours. Put on a show, mm -hmm. a real show for, yeah. for a real tour. And I think Tiana Taylor, we've seen when she's done choreography for people, how that's definitely helped shape things up. Yeah, she did. Uh, she helped out Lola mm -hmm. this uh, past summer. You were there, right? 
for I it. Wasn't, I feel like no, I wasn't there for it, but I, I watched. Um, I saw you dressed the, like you were in Bridgerton somewhere. No, that was for something else. That was okay. for her commercial, for her sneaker. Actually. You outside. Hey, man, you know, Mano. You are outside, Mano. No, All right, dude. now, uh, when we come back, speaking of being outside, sometimes you got to be inside. And. <laughs> We're going to talk about our own poop stories. We did. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Mano. I, I don't play around. I can I? In, yeah. All right, I since we're play. being honest. Let's be honest then. Uh, you were up here earlier. And, and I had to go. Mid-break, you just I had to, to your go. stomach and ran out of the room. Yeah. Okay? And then everybody was like, which stall is he using? Because they want to make sure they don't <laughs> use that same stall as you. But we want to hear about your urgent poop stories. Because to be honest, we all have them. I know I have some. And we'll talk about it. Um... Uh, when we come back, it's Way Up with Angela Yee.